Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. It's good evening, How teacher. Have you here, my dears? Hello, uh, Jennifer, Angel, Iris, Rene, Elizabeth, Eric, Rocio. Uh, I say, I don't know if I say Angel and Iris. Yes, Rene. Eric Acosta, Rocio. Welcome. Okay, excellent. We are going to start today, um, and I would like to show you. Uh, what part of the platform we will be working today in order that you can see. And let me show you and expand a little bit this view. Okay, for today we are going to work with the 4.4 lesson objective that says by the end of this session participants will know how to ask and answer questions using comparison with adjectives. So we are going to have a very quick review of what an adjective is, how do you write them in a sentence, and then we are going to continue working with the comparisons, right? In the platform, uh, you have a video that says comparison with adjectives, and uh, you talk about superlative adjectives, right? The comparison and the superlatives, and later you go to the knowledge check, so we are going to work with it later, right? Uh, we are going to try to solve this knowledge check. Uh, later, if the time allow us, we are going to learn how to pronounce uh, in a best way to be or to sound more natural when asking questions of choice. So this is going to be uh, basically the video that is in the platform. I invite you to go to watch it and to repeat and try to perform the best way to do the questions of choice, right? In order to sound more natural. Uh, later, uh, we are going, uh, for tomorrow maybe, because I don't think the time is going to be enough, uh, to have a conversation using, using uh, questions with, um, to talk about distance and measurements. If you remember, we started to talk about uh, how far, right, and so on, uh, but we are going to develop uh, this later in this session. So I'm going to stop sharing this because uh, I need to come back to complete the, this knowledge check later, but before I need to share my presentation and that we can develop some exercises for you to have this topic, this topic clear. Okay, I would like that you can confirm if you can watch my new screen. Can you watch it? Yes. What is an adjective? Yes. Okay, thank you, excellent. Okay, we are going to start uh, asking or remembering uh, what is an adjective. And if you remember, an adjective is a word which describes or gives more information about a noun or pronoun. Remember that a noun is everything that describes a thing uh, are an animal or a person, right? Uh, even you can have proper nouns. For example, my name is a proper noun. Your name is a proper noun. Uh, and the pronouns that you already know, I, you, he, she, it, you, we, and they. Uh, in English, for example, we normally use the adjectives at the beginning um, or, or before. It means before the noun, right? We say beautiful flower, big house, white shirt, for example. In Spanish, we say camisa blanca. Normally, we, we say first the, the noun and then the adjective. That's in Spanish. But in English, it's the opposite. You can say a white shirt, beautiful flower, big house, and so on. But also, uh, you can have... Um, Adjectives that normally describe or give more information, as I said before, about a noun or a pronoun by answering, answering one of these questions. What kind? Uh, remember that all colors um, are adjectives. For example, when I say what kind, normally I'm asking about, a, we can say blue car, long robe, tall person, big house. So all the words that are in a, a red color, like blue, long, tall, and big, are adjectives because they are describing what kind of thing we are talking about. 
also, uh, adjectives answer to the question, which one, right? Qual, which one, right? Uh, when I have a, a, a choice, right? Cuando tengo que hacer una elección entre una cosa o la otra. This town, last week, the second day, the other woman. So this is a demonstrative, but also can be an adjective, right? Um, last um, is, is an adjective also. So all the, the words in red color are adjectives in this case. This, last, second, other. And also we use adjectives to, um, let's see, to answer to the question, how many? We say one second, three boys, few cars, several people. In this case, we are using numbers also as adjectives, right? All the words in red color in this case are adjectives, right? One, three, few, several. Okay, after reminding what an adjective is and what we use it for, we will continue with comparative adjectives, right? Uh, because we need to, to remember and be clear what an adjective is and what we use it for. And then we come to this part that we start comparing, right, two people, places, or things. So basically, the comparative adjectives, adjectives help us to compare people, places, or things, too, right? Two people, places, or things. And the adjective starts being a short word. For example, onk. So in order to compare, I say, I have to add the er and say older. Young. Young is the normal adjective. But when I will use it as a comparative, uh, I add the word er and I say younger, right? So we have when we have a consonant, vowel consonant, CBC, consonant, vowel consonant, plus er, the final consonant is double. For example, here, b. In the case of b, I have a consonant, b. I have a vowel, i. And I have the other consonant, which is g. And I say big. So in this case, the rule says that I have to double the last consonant. And in this case, it says bigger, right? Bigger. Hot, hotter, right? Uh, because I have a consonant, vowel consonant. And when we have short adjectives that end in Y, right? What I have to do is to change the Y for an I and then add E -er. For example, easy, easier, heavy, heavier, right? For long adjectives, for example, I have uh, exciting. I have one, two, three syllable here. Exciting. Beautiful. I have three. So it's a long uh, word. What I have to do is to add the word more plus the long adjective. For example, it's difficult to say exciting here. It's very difficult. So it's not possible to do that. To do that. I cannot say beautiful there. No, no, no. So I say more exciting, more beautiful, right? So that's the rule. And remember that we have some irregular adjectives. Which are those irregular adjectives? For example, good, when I say uh, the comparison or the comparative, I say better, right? I can say uh, natural soft drinks are better than, uh, we can say Coca-Cola. <laughs> Maybe you disagree with me, but I will say that. Uh, but uh, you use words, far, farther, right? Little, less, much or many, you say more. We use done after the comparative form of the adjective. So we say, John is taller than Mary, right? In this case, I'm comparing John with Mary, right? So I'm comparing them and I say that John is taller. In this case, más alto que, it's taller than Maria. John is taller than Mary. A Ferrari is more expensive than a Fiat, right? 
Uh, so I'm comparing the cost, right, of a Ferrari car, and I say that it's more expensive than a Fiat. Entonces, un Ferrari es más caro que ese dan es que un Fiat, okay? So here I have some, uh, the degrees of the adjectives. We have the positive degree, which is the common adjective, for example, big. Um, I have here the comparative, bigger. But when I don't want just to compare, but I want to say the superlative degree of this adjective, I say biggest, right? And uh, note that when I use the superlative degree, I have to add the, the biggest, right? So this bowl is big, which is normal, this is the positive degree, but then I say a comparative. Uh, the second bowl is bigger than the first bowl. But later I need to, to um, use a superlative degree to describe the third bowl that is the biggest. So I can say the third bowl of the picture is the biggest, right? And I use the word da uh, before the superlative adjective. So what, what can I do? We, you already know that to do the comparative, you add ER. I already explained the, the, rule, the rule, but um, we have to form the superlative also. So the, the positive degree is clear. The comparative, clearer. I add, add ER, right, ER. Uh, but when I have to do the superlative, I add EST, right, ER. EST in this case, clearest, clearer, clearest, dark, darker, the darkest. So we can say um, the day is clear. Uh, today is clearer than yesterday. Today is the clearest day of the week. Dark. Tonight. Uh, is dark or we can say uh, tonight is darker than yesterday tonight is the darkest right the darkest night in the week so uh, if we have one syllable with e what i do is to say wise wiser in this case there's no problem i just add the, the r right um, then in this case, I add the ST, wisest, simple, simpler, simplest. And I have here more examples. For example, when I have one syllable adjective, I say long, longer, excuse me, um, tall, taller, straight, straighter, large, larger, big, bigger, this is only the comparative, right? Big, bigger, hot, hot, hotter, honest. If you see honest, it's a little bit long, so I use more honest. Happy, I change the Y and add I, E, R, happier. Uh, crazy, crazier, narrow, narrower, gentle, gentler, expensive. So we have here three or more syllables. So I say more expensive, more dangerous, more popular, more beautiful. And as I said before, with the irregular adjectives, I said good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, many, more, little, less, far, further. It's a... Um, a synonym, right? You can say farther or you can say further. Okay, uh, so the rules again, when we have a comparative adjective of one syllable, uh, you have, uh, for example, two syllables ending in Y, you change the Y to I and add ER. Like um, when there's only, excuse me, when there's only one syllable, you just add ER. Cleaner, clean, cleaner. When you have two syllable, syllables ending in Y, you change the Y to I and add ER. Uh, busy, 
this year. Two more syllables and syllables that doesn't end with Y, you use the word more or less. More active, less generous. Uh, again, irregular adjectives. Good, better, and the comparative and the super, superlative, the best. Remember that those are irregular adjectives. They don't follow the, the same rule, right? Bad, worse, the worst. Far, farther, can be further, the farthest, the furthest. Much, more, the most. Little, less, the least. So normally these ones, you have to memorize them. You have to learn them by heart because uh, they don't follow the rule of adding ER for the comparative or adding EST for the superlative because the adjective itself is an irregular adjective, right? Uh, so here I have more examples. Um, the adjectives of one syllable add air or are that plus than. For example, cold. I'm using the adjective cold in this case. In Canada, winter is colder than summer. So I'm comparing the winter season with the summer season in Canada. So I say that in Canada, winter is colder than summer. Uh, the adjectives with two syllables that end in Y, you change the Y to I and add ER, right? Plus done. Happy. John is happier than David. So I'm comparing John's attitude uh, regarding to David, and I say that John is happier than David. The adjectives with two or more syllables add more plus done in the comparative, right? Expensive, one, two, three syllables. So I use more than. This book is more expensive than that book. So I'm comparing two books. Adjectives that end in a single vowel and consonant, remember vowel, I mean consonant, vowel, uh, consonant, and you double the final uh, letter or the final consonant. Uh, before adding done, big, uh, bigger, right? Russia is bigger than Canada. So uh, remember always a regular comparative adjective, good, better than, bad, worse than, far, farther than, or further than, right? So now we are going to work by filling in the blanks uh, below to complete the sentences, right? So, um, I have here some, right? Uh, Argentina is bigger than Colombia, right? Uh, I have here some additions because this is not given, but I said cars are more expensive than radios, but you can say anything else. So let me, let me change it. Uh, that's the example I have, but I will need some volunteers to, to do like, like two possibilities for this. Vamos a hacer como dos posibilidades para estas oraciones. Yo le agregué, cars are more expensive than radios. But what can you say? Useful, maybe? What do you think? ¿Qué otro adjetivo pudiéramos agregar? Are bigger. Yes, are bigger. Than, than, are bigger than. than OK. Than. Uh, yes, cars are more expensive than radios or cars are bigger than radios. Excellent. Vean, aquí tengo, uh, I have here more. Thomas is smaller than his brother. Do you have any other adjective? Or we can say shorter, right? Shorter, vamos a usar la palabra shorter. Uh, let's use a, a larger adjective. Thomas is maybe more intelligent. More intelligent. Yes, more intelligent. Okay, Thomas is more intelligent than, right? Remember that always that you're comparing, uh, you have to use the word than, right? 
than his brother. Okay, uh, here, winter is colder than summer. But winter mm -hmm. is more than uh, beautiful summer. Winter is more beautiful than, than, summer. than, that, summer. than summer. Excellent, very good. So let's see. Vamos a aumentar un poquito aquí para que ustedes lo vean mejor. Ok, excellent. Weekends are shorter than weekdays. Ok, but let me, let me give another example. Weekends are... What do you think about this? Excuse me? Uh, better. Better, yes. Uh, better than, o podríamos haber dicho nicer también, ¿verdad? Pero better, is, it's good. I like it. Uh, so weekends are better than weekdays. Excellent, because we have time to, sp to spend with our families and friends. Okay, uh, this book is more expensive than that book. So what, what other example can you give? book is more interesting than that book. Excellent. This uh, book is more interesting than that book. Excellent. Comedies are funnier than action movies. So would you like to give another example about comedies and action movies? Comedies are um, better. Okay, better. Better than, than action, movies. action movies. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's see this one. The flu is more annoying than a cold. Es como la gripe molesta más que un resfriado, ¿verdad? So, uh, could you give another example? Podríamos usar worse, ¿verdad? Is worse than, ¿verdad? Is worse, excuse me, than, than a cold, ¿ok? Dogs are smarter than cats. Ok, what do you think about? Any other example? Dogs, dogs are bigger. Ok, are bigger. Than cats. than cats. Excellent. Cake is more delicious than ice cream. Okay, what do you think about? Podemos okay. utilizar otra palabra, ¿verdad? Is less. Es menos. Y aún así seguimos comparando. ¿Sí? Eh, yo dije, es más delicioso que el ice cream, pero yo también puedo decir, es menos delicioso, el contrario, ¿verdad? Mm. So, let's use this. Utilizamos este, solo para ver cómo nos queda. Cake is less delicious than ice cream. Than ice cream. And in both cases, I'm comparing. And I'm using uh, the, the adjective delicious for... for, for um, Qualifying them, but in the first case, I'm saying that it's more delicious. And in the second case, I'm saying it's less delicious than. Okay, excellent. So let me advance. Let, let's advance. Because I, I have here more. Okay. I am taller than my sister. Uh, that's already, already done. Uh, the next. Um, Sarah is busier than Mary. Okay, any other example? Sarah is more beautiful. Okay, Sarah. utilicemos otro, excelente. Mm -hmm. Sarah, let's see. Mm -hmm. Is more beautiful. Than Mary. Okay, the sun, uh, hot, in this case I'm using the adjective hot, the sun is ¿Cómo se dice, eh, disculpe, teacher, ¿cómo se dice brillante para decir el, el, el comparativo? Brilliant. Brilliant, 
Entonces sería, is more brilliant than the earth. Than the earth. Than the, than the earth. Excellent. The sun is more brilliant than the earth. Excellent. Very good. Okay, look at this one. The earth is larger than the moon. So now let's, let's think in another adjective and another example for this. The earth is better, older, mm -hmm. um, is better than the moon. the moon. Okay, excellent. So, uh, elephants are bigger than horses. So, let's think in, in another comparative. We can say uh, more slow, uh, yeah? Or we can say um, heavier, right? Elephants are heavier. Remember that heavy is like this. So we change and we say heavier than, right? Son más pesados, ¿verdad? Uh, are heavier than horses, maybe. Okay, again, action movies are more exciting than comedies. Uh, we can say uh, maybe action movies are more interesting, maybe. What do you think about? More interesting than. Se puede decir también are less funny. Okay, we can say less funny. Let's use this. Less funny okay done. done excellent very good okay this restaurant good uh, remember that for good uh, we use better it's better than that restaurant right but yeah. if we use this, other, rest mm -hmm. this restaurant is more delicious more than that restaurant okay it's more delicious uh, than uh, is better than is more delicious than okay that restaurant excellent thank you okay salads healthy salads are healthier than hamburgers any other opinion with other adjectives salads are less delicious than Hamburgers. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but, <laughs> but if we want to be healthy, <laughs> okay, are less delicious than. Excellent. Okay, now let's think. Ahora tenemos que pensar en completo. Uh, we, I already gave you many examples, but we need to complete this, okay? So it says, uh, I think weekends. Nice. ¿Cómo cambiamos el nice? Nicer. Ok, I think weekends are nicer. We just add the R, right? Nicer, than, nicer than weekdays. Than weekdays, ajá. Uh -huh. In the other example, you say better, right? You said better are better than weekdays. Pero también podríamos decir are less busy. Than, right? Y ese es un comparativo siempre, pero estamos utilizando eh, menos, ¿verdad? De inferioridad. Ok, let's see. Lions dangerous. What do you think about? Lions are more dangerous than rabbits. Ok, are more dangerous than rabbits. Ok, let's see. Any other example? Are faster, 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 like faster. this. Yeah, are faster, are faster than, okay? Yes, that's true. Okay, the sun far. The sun far than the moon. 
Okay. Since we are talking about the sun, I say is, right? The sun is far. Farthest. Farthest, right? Farther in this case. Oh, farther. Farther oh, than, than, porque si no es de farthest, but then el más lejano. Is farther than. The moon, than the moon. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Any other? Any other adjective? Bright, brighter, of okay. como brillante. Bra brighter, yes. Is, is in this case we use more because uh, more brighter, brighter the moon. Okay, it's more bright. No, it's brighter. In este caso, brighter, nada más. Right. Brilliant. In el otro utilice brilliant. Ahí sí. A brighter, right? Is brighter than the moon. Okay. Uh, let's see. The hotel bed. Do you remember the 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 comparative? Worse. 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 So we say. Okay. Let's see. The hotel. The hotel. Mm -hmm. Is. Is. It's worse. Is. Is worse than this hotel. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if we change that adjective and we use another, what do you think it could be? Yes. It's more, more expensive. expensive. Yeah, more expensive. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think this is the last one. Uh, 13. No, I have, ooh, I have two more. Okay, cars. Fast bicycles. So, cars. Are in this case, right? Because we are talking about plural. Cars are in this case fast, we just add faster. faster, right? E e R are faster than. Uh, could you think in another adjective? Bigger. Okay, are bigger. Are bigger than bicycle. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Again, the comedies. This is in the other way around. Uh, comedies are funnier in this case, right? Because we just uh, uh, change the Y for I and add e e uh, R. Funnier than action movies. And you already said in the other example that comedies are, we can say, less violent let's use this comedies are less violent than action movies nervous what do you think about this my friend i since i'm talking about i what subject uh, what part of the verb to be do i have to use um um, okay, excellent. So I am nervous. More, ner more, more, more nervous. nervous. More nervous. Than my friend. Than my friend. Excellent. But I can say I am less nervous. If we can use uh, an inferior comparative, nervous. I'm less nervous than my friend. my friend. Okay, my dears, excellent. Congratulations. You did it great by identifying not only the way to change the adjective uh, for uh, the, the comparison, right? The comparative way, but also to find any other adjectives in order to uh, add uh, an additional comparison to the exercise. Okay, let's advance. And let me show you this. Okay, so this is basically uh, what we already discussed, right? Uh, this is uh, basically the rules, uh, but now we are going to focus on superlatives, right? Uh, the dog is faster than the elephant, for example, here. So let me show you. Let me go here. 
So um, the dog is faster than the elephant. The horse, uh, this is the comparative, right? But if, but if I want to, to do a superlative, I say the horse is the fastest. It means that there is no comparison between uh, the dog and the elephant because the horse is the fastest animal. The horse is bigger than the dog. Yeah. The uh, in the other... Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. The elephant is the heaviest. If we talk about the three animals, the elephant doesn't have any comparison with the horse uh, or with the dog. We can say the elephant is the heaviest, right? The dog, the dog is more energetic than the elephant. Yes, it is. And maybe even more energetic than um, the horse, okay? So in here, we also have to follow some rules when we uh, remember that we do the comparative, we add ER, uh, one syllable fast, faster, superlative, the fastest, uh, young, younger, the youngest, one syllable ending in E, nice, nicer, the nicest, strange, stranger, the strangest in the superlative, one syllable consonant plus, plus short vowel plus consonant, that we can say consonant, vowel, consonant, CVC. Big, bigger, the biggest. Hot, hotter, the hottest. Two syllables ending in Y. Happy, happier, the happiest. Crazy, crazier, the craziest. Two or more syllables, uh, we say, for example, famous, more plus uh, the word, right? More famous, more beautiful. In the superlative, you say the most. So there's no comparison. This lady is the most famous in the world. Or this lady is the most beautiful girl in the world. So there's no comparison. And there are some common exceptions with the irregular adjectives like good, bad, we say good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Okay, so let me advance. Okay, um, again, uh, this is something that I already uh, show you, right? Uh, but in this case, I just want, I know, this is the superlative, excuse me. We use the superlative to compare more than two people, places, or things, right? more than two. It means that we have to establish a very superior degree. There is no comparison. Uh, remember for the short adjectives, we just add EST, old, oldest, young, youngest. Uh, if you have a CVC, consonant, vowel plus consonant plus EST, the final consonant is double, big, the biggest, hot, the hottest. A short adjective ending in Y, you change the Y and add I, E, S, T. Easy, the easiest. Heavy, the heaviest. And remember, the long adjectives, for example, uh, we use the most. Remember that in the comparative was uh, more, but here is the most. Plus the long adjective, the most exciting, the most beautiful. And always keep in mind the irregular adjectives, good, the best, bad, the worst, far, the farthest, little, the least, much, many, the most. Remember that you, use, you can use much and many, and for both cases, the superlative is the most. We use the before the superlative uh, to form the adjective. John is the tallest. It means that there's no comparison. And I can say John is the tallest boy in the class. So there's nobody else uh, that compares. A Ferrari is the most expensive car. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we have uh, one syllable. Uh, remember long, um, longest. Tall, tallest. Straight, straightest. Uh, large, largest. Big, biggest. Hot, hottest. 
components, uh, if you have two syllables, you have to add most, right? Honest, most honest, uh, most famous, most, uh, in this case, you can say happiest, right? No matter in this case, it's like an exception, you can say happiest, uh, craziest, narrowest, gentlest. Or you can say more happy, uh, more honest, more narrow. Okay, no, there's no problem with this. Sorry, let me move here. Yes, and um, in this case, I already explained. This is the one that I want to show you. Okay. Uh, as I said before, the most expensive, the most popular, because it, they have three or more uh, syllables, uh, most confident, most dangerous, most beautiful, most difficult. And keep in mind the irregular adjectives, good, best, bad, worst, far, farthest, many, most, little, least, far, farthest. Farthest, farthest yes. Okay, here, um, you have another example, clean, cleaner, cleanest. In, in, in here you say clean, uh, cleaner than, the cleanest, easy, e uh, easier than, the easiest, fat, farther um, than, the fattest, flat, flatter than, the flattest, heavy, heavier than, the heaviest, hot, hotter than, the hottest, narrow, narrower than, the narrowest, noisy, noisier than, the noisiest, simple, simpler than, the simplest, thin, thinner than, the thinnest, wet, wetter than, the wettest, long, longer, longest. Okay, that's the, the drawing for you to identify them. Mm -hmm. So here, um, so let me, okay, for you to watch it better. Uh, again, in drawings, big, bigger, the biggest, high, higher, the highest, expensive, more expensive, the most expensive, young, younger, the youngest of the family. Okay, here, uh, I have um, some extra because of the time we are going to, to discuss them here. Look, uh, read the sentences below and fill the correct uh, form of the adjective. Mount Everest is the, whenever you see is the, and mountain in the world, and you say hi, when you see here is the highest, right? The highest. You are the, if you see here the, you're talking about a superlative, kindest. You're the kindest person I know. Rabbits are, and in here if you see it's a comparison because you're using the word than. So remember that whenever you use than, we are in a comparison. Rabbits are smaller than dogs, right? I am the. So when I say the, it's a superlative. So I'm the shortest person in the class. The red car is. When I say is and then I have done, I'm with a comparative. The red car is faster than the blue car, right? Because the blue car is, is less, right? The apple is, and when I see is and then, I'm talking about a comparative. The apple is rather than uh, the, uh, that apple. Okay, here I have more. I have the evening with my mom, wonderful, the most wonderful. And the Pacific Ocean is, and I see Dan, so I'm comparing the Pacific Ocean with other oceans. So what do you think? It's a, a comparative. The Pacific Ocean is deeper than the Arctic Ocean. My brother is, 
when I see Dan, I know that I'm talking about a comparative. So I say younger. My brother is younger than me. It's not than I, it's than me. He is us. Vean, aquí tenemos us, us. En este us, us, nobody is more than, no one is more than the other, right? So I say, he is as famous as his father. En este as, as, estamos comparando. Él es tan famoso como, el primer as es tan y el segundo es como. Él es tan famoso como su padre. So in here, there's no, it's a, it, it, equality, right? There's a nobody uh, higher. No hay nadie en, en, en estado superior de comparación o inferior utilizando less, ni tampoco es un superlativo. Right? So, both of them are in the same level. Ambos están en el mismo nivel. So, let me see here. Yesterday. Yesterday was sunnier. Ya perdí mi mouse, chicos. Quiero encontrar la herramienta acá para ver si se los ponía en el otro colorcito, pero déjenme ver. Porque mi mouse se me pierde. Ahí está. Um, ok. It yesterday was sunnier than, whenever I see than, I'm talking about a comparison. Yesterday was sunnier than today. Jupiter is the, this is a superlative, so big, biggest. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. So, uh, he is the, when I see the, superlative. He is the smartest boy in our class. Who has the, the, so this is a superlative. Who has the hardest job in, your fa in our family, right? I'm asking, who has the hardest job in our family? The one that doesn't have comparison, so it's a superlative. Okay, here, I need your help. Uh, I would like to do this exercise, so I need that some of you can help me uh, to do a, uh, you already know, but I would like just to make uh, to make sure that you that you have them in your mind, but also in your practice. So, who wants to start? We are going to do the we are going to form the comparative and the superlative. Me. Okay, please go ahead. Hot comparative form is hotter. Okay. In superlative form is the hottest. Okay, so let me copy and paste. It will take uh, time, but it will be, okay. Okay, the hardest, right. Okay, thank you, Rene. Okay, who wants to continue with an, the next? Sick. Sick? Mm -hmm. Sería... Sickest. Mm -hmm. Da, verdad? Ah, yeah, because it's a superlative, okay. right? Okay. okay, yes. Excellent, thank you. Okay, volunteer for the next uh, word. Rich. Me, teacher? Yes, please, go ahead. Richer. Mm -hmm. Um the richest yes okay excellent thank you strong volunteer for strong me teacher okay please stronger mm -hmm. the strongest okay strong the strongest Okay. Excellent. So I need a volunteer for soft. Mm -hmm. May I, teacher? Yes, please go ahead. So far, in comparative, so far. Superlative, the sophist. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. It's correct, teacher. It's soft, soft, softer, the softest. Yes, the softest uh, bed in the world, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. Cold. Thank you. Cold. Color. Excuse me, soft. Aquí creo que yo me equivoqué. Perdón, tengo un, un soft. Tengo un, un tipo aquí, soft. The soft, yeah. Yes. Okay, cold. Excuse me, who was participating? Me again. <laughs> okay, okay, cold. Color. Mm hmm and the coldest the coldest okay very good okay uh because of the time uh, maybe we will not continue writing uh because it takes a, a a lot of time but i would like to at least say them right poor poorer right poor poorer the poorest right the poorest Loud, louder, louder, the, loud, the loudest, loudest. Mm -hmm. wealthy, uh, wealthier, right? Uh, the wealthiest, rough, ruggest. I mean, ruger, ruger, and then ruggest, the ruggest, weak, weaker, the weakest, the weakest, yeah. Quiet, uh, um, quieter, Quiet. the quiet, Quieter. the quietest. Uh huh. Uh, short, shorter, shorter, the short, uh, uh, shortest. Yeah. the shortest. Yes. Okay, very good, my dear. So you need to complete at home, right? So this is going to be extra material for you to continue practicing at home. Um, for example, here we have some. Uh, I will stop the, the practice there because I want you to see some questions that we can do using uh, comparatives and superlatives. For example, you can ask, who's the most generous person you, you've ever met? Es como, ¿quién es la persona más generosa que has conocido alguna vez? You, you have, es a you've, es una contraction that you have. So you've ever met. Who's the most generous person you've ever met? What's the most expensive restaurant you have been to? Right, you've been to. Que tú has estado, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el restaurante más caro en el que tú has estado? What's the best film you've ever seen? ¿Cuál es la mejor película que eh, alguna vez has visto o que haya visto, right? What's the most beautiful city you've been to? ¿Cuál es la ciudad más hermosa en la que has estado? What's the longest amount of time you've been awake? ¿Cuál es el mayor tiempo que, en el que has permanecido despierto o despierta? What's the most difficult language to learn? For me, Chinese. <laughs> I don't know, but... Okay. What's the worst book you ever read? Who in the whole world do you admire the most? What's the most expensive thing you ever brought for yourself? What has been the most embarrassing moment in your life? What's the most exciting sport to watch? What's the most exciting thing you ever done? What's the biggest lie you ever told someone? <laughs> so uh, sometimes we use these um, superlatives uh, when we are talking about things like this, right? Uh, so they ask you for very like, um, yeah, uh, big things that have happened to you. And uh, that, that's why we use the superlatives to describe them better. So I'll uh, keep this in the extra materials you will have in order that you can continue practicing the questions. And if you can provide your own answer, it's going to be okay for you to practice. And then you can answer uh, these questions about your classmates, for example, for example, who is the tallest in your class? Who is the funniest in your class? Who is the shortest in your class? Who is the most intelligent in your class? 
who is the most serious person in your class or in your office? Uh, who is the youngest, right? Who is the oldest? Um, who is the best at sports? And who is the worst dancing? Okay, so um, this is only for you to have an idea about the questions you can ask by using these um, superlatives. I would like to know if you have questions, my dear. Yes. Yes, okay. Go ahead. Yes. Adelante. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to ask. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Uh, Take your time. We have a couple of minutes and we can continue. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, about the, exer the mm -hmm. exercise before, mm -hmm. for example, uh, the, it was a question that say the un planeta the biggest la luna eh, algo así decía de, la luna the moon eh, the moon big the biggest algo así ah Jupiter is the the biggest planet in our solar system yeah yeah but in this question um, el superlativo siempre ¿Se puede comparar o solo es así como este ejemplo? En el superlativo no se compara, emperatriz. El superlativo es nobody else, eh, there's no comparison, no hay comparación, ¿verdad? Ah. Es, es el grado máximo. Okay. Eh, podríamos haber utilizado otro como, por ejemplo, ay, inventemos, ¿verdad? Que la Tierra uh -huh. es del mismo tamaño que Júpiter. Podríamos haber dicho Júpiter is um, bigger, um, is as bigger as the Earth. Júpiter uh -huh. es tan grande como la Tierra, pero ahí teníamos que haber utilizado el as, as, como en este. He is as famous as his father. Porque es un e, comparison of uh, equality. Una comparación uh -huh. de igualdad. Nadie es mayor que nadie. As, as. Eh, uh -huh. Podríamos haber dicho... Eh, The sun is uh, farthest um, than the, the, the earth, right? El sol es más, uh -huh. está más lejos que la tierra. Ahí sí hay un comparativo de superioridad. Utilizamos el ER plus dan, ¿verdad? Okay. Pero en este caso, Júpiter, there is no comparison. Nadie se le iguala a Júpiter because Júpiter is the biggest. Es el más grande. Up to date, okay. hasta hoy, ¿verdad? Unless in the future they discover a new planet and maybe it's going to change. But by now, Jupiter is the biggest. There's no comparison with it. Y si dijéramos, teacher, por ejemplo, mm -hmm. eh, eh, la Tierra, eh, perdón, el Sol es más grande que el planeta Tierra. We say the Sun is bigger than the Earth. Mm, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Don't worry. I know it's a little bit tricky. Yo sé que es un poquito tricky, ¿verdad? Y que en una sola clase eh, es difícil. But I will send you the materials for you to practice. Uh, you can go to the platform to watch the videos uh, several times. And you can continue practicing, looking uh, to do more um, exercises at home, trying to write them. So remember that tonight we have studying uh, comparison and superlatives. Hemos estudiado comparativos y superlativos, ¿verdad? Okay, um, if you don't have questions regarding to this, I'm going to stop sharing and let me go. If we can come back to the platform. Yes, because I remember that we have an exercise so let me see if we can, okay, yes. Okay, the 4.6 knowledge check says, uh, complete questions one to five uh, with comparatives and questions six to 10 with superlatives. Use the adjective given, into your, in, in your, to give, given to you in brackets. So um, remember from one to five is, um, Comparative and from six to 10 superlative. So number one, which uh, country is, um, in this case, small? 
So when there's a comparison, you say smaller. Which country is smaller, Monaco or Vatican City? Okay. Number two, uh, which waterfall is high? So you say higher, right? Which waterfall is higher, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls, right? Vea que aquí estamos haciendo pregunta. Entonces, como estamos comparando two choices, we use the WH word which. ¿Cuál es? Right? Eh, más grande, ¿verdad? En este caso. Eh, o más, más alto. Which city is crowded? Right? Eh, you can say um, more crowded because crowded uh, now it's like a longer word and you have to add more which city is more crowded uh, hong kong or cairo number four which lake is large so larger because it's a comparative which lake is larger the caspian sea or uh, lake superior and number five which place is famous uh, more famous, Taj Mahal or the Great Wall of China, right? In this case, we are with comparison. From number six to number 10, there's a superlative, which is the highest mount, Aconcagua, Mount Everest, or Mount Fiji. So we are comparing three, right? But one of them is the highest. In this case, Mount Everest, right? Okay, what is the longest river in the world? The Nile or the Amazon, right? So you are comparing two, but one of them is the, the longest. Okay, number seven. What is the longest river, river in, uh, yes, the same, river in the world, the Nile or the Amazon? And number eight, which city is the most expensive, Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong, yeah? So the most expensive, one of them is the most expensive. Maybe they can be Tokyo, maybe. Okay, number nine, what is the deepest ocean in the world? The Pacific or the Atlantic, right? Maybe the Pacific, right? There's no comparison. Uh, which is, the driest desert in the world, Atacama Desert or Sahara Desert, okay? Vean, eh, in Spanish, to have it clear, en esto, eh, si bien es cierto, están comparando tres eh, o dos cosas, pero una de ellas es la mayor, la que no tiene comparación, ¿sí? Entonces, por eso es un superlativo, la más cara, el más largo, el más profundo, el más seco, ¿sí? Pero vean que también con los superlativos se puede comparar en cierta medida, pero no es tanto comparar, sino preguntar eh, which or what, ¿verdad? Para hacer un choice, para hacer una elección of the, of the superlative degree. Para hacer una elección del que tiene mayor grado de superioridad de lo que estamos preguntando. So I would like to know if, do you have questions about that? No, teacher. No, no? teacher. Okay, my dears, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for your time. And I hope you can be safe and I hope to see you tomorrow here to continue learning, okay? If you have okay. questions, please okay. let me know and write to me to the WhatsApp group or directly if you prefer. Okay, okay. okay. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.